Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, finally doing the extra videos at long last. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to take care of some other projects before I got back to this one. And, um, well, the first thing with the extra videos, as I mentioned, you know, I had that whole stream where I leveled up, and at level 40, special stuff happens, which means a new rank, actually, the, uh, the final ultimate rank you can possibly get, which is final boss rank. Pretty cool stuff. So, uh, I'm just gonna get Bowser level 40. I'm gonna get Mario and Luigi level 40, do the gauntlet, and hopefully see if level 40 is enough to do all that. It should be enough for the normal part, but the final part of the gauntlet... Maybe not, but at level 40 you get Intruder Fangs, and these things are pretty good and kind of broken because what they do basically, and at level 40, um, everyone gets a, a, a special item for it. Uh, the, well, I mean Mario and Luigi get only one item, they don't get one for Mario and one for Luigi, but that's okay. Um, basically, Intruder Fangs, what they're going to do is I'll show you right now, they will let you attack twice in a row, which is actually pretty awesome. So you can do one punch and smack someone, and then you can do a second turn, which is also great, because if you have, like, you know, a, a brain that heals you in between turns, you actually get double the healing, too, because it counts as a whole different turn. Now, it says the same action, but I guess you can do different actions without any consequence, so, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the whole same thing means, but whatever. Um, we gonna go ahead and quickly finish off this battle, so, uh, pretty cool, I think, that you can just sort of do two actions like this. I was gonna try to show it off by screwing that up, but, uh, no. But as you can see, Double the actions, double the fun. So now it's time for Mario and Luigi, uh, leveling up to level 40. And from here, we're gonna get something, uh, we're gonna reach Rainbow Rank! Awesome. I, lo I like how there's, like, a whole special little cutscene here where, like, you even see, like, you know, the just Rainbow Rank, it's special. And you have a Peach's Castle there, cool times. As you can see, I'm not really gaining much stats from leveling up at this point, so even if, like, I level up, I don't really see how much more it's going to really benefit. Well, I guess it would benefit me because I'd still be getting, you know, the bonus stats as well. So, uh, there's that, I suppose. I think, like, somewhere around, like, level 39 for Bowser or something like that, like, Mario Luigi's stats start falling off. I know there's, this, their stacking is related to Bowser, so it's really weird like that. But there we go. The ultimate rank there. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And we'll go ahead, uh, get Luigi some more stash points here. Almost at 100. Almost. A little sad, but that's okay. Um, never did manage to get the really good item, but uh, now we're, we're, we're just going to go ahead and uh, warp back to Toe Town. Because what you can get when you reach Rainbow Rank, Rainbow Rank you get the excellent badge. Um, the excellent, excellent exclamation mark, exclamation mark badge. Also, we finally get Stash Level 3. Wow. We need to post game to get that. That's pretty sad. Um, now what the excellent exclamation mark, exclamation mark badge is going to let us do, it's going to give us, the, um, it's going to like basically give us the ultimate potency for all of our badges. Um, because, you know, depending on how good, great, excellent, um, you, it, it, will, it will increase the potency of the badge. So, for, for example, use it the healing badge, it would allow me to do heal, I believe, it's like 70 or 80% of my health instead of 30, which is nice. The catch is, you can only charge the gauge using, uh, if you get excellent, um, strikes on your moves. And if you never, if you, uh, ever not get an excellent move, so if you get a great, it'll actually kill that bro's meter. So you have to chain continuous excellent attacks together in order to uh, fill up the meter. However, the benefit for doing so is really potent. So I'm going to be using that in tandem with the power badge, actually, for the gauntlet, which will basically, I believe, double or triple my next attack uh, by doing so, which does a lot of damage. Because as you're going to see, I'm basically going around to make a ridiculous all-offensive set for Mario, at least. Uh, so that's going to be a thing, I suppose. And by doing that, I'm going to get some DX Power Gloves and DX Power Boots for, I believe, both my... I've managed to do it for both my bros, actually. Um, I already have some gloves, so I don't need to worry about that. But, uh... And the Type Belt actually might not be a bad idea as well. Just because that, uh... It, it does give me, uh, some extra SP if I need it. I might be needing it for the final part of the, of the gauntlet. So, uh... I'm going to have to tinker some stuff. And, oh my goodness, I got the star! Wow, and I spent, like... A good, like, 60... Look at that! Look how much money I got back. I got back 26,000 coins. Boy, they must feel ripped off their scratch card game. They just lost out of 26,000 coins! I'm like, holy shit, that's almost an entire AOK wear right there. That's actually really, really funny. But, that's my... I guess I'm just lucky. Ha! <laughs> Pun! Anyway, warp it again to uh, the challenge node. Because we're gonna go ahead now. And finally take on the gauntlet. Now that all the preparations are done, let's go ahead and equip our stuff. Because like I said, we're going to go for an entirely offensive set for this. So, uh, DX Power Gloves, 
DX Power Boots. Um, I could do like stuff like the Daredevil one as well, but that's a bit too risky for my liking. I, I would like to at least be able to take one hit, but I also use the D-Star Wear, which as you can see, boosts my power to a whopping 391. Because, you know, I have extra two, I have two, I have like basically a 40% power boost, and then the DX, and then the, the Dark Star Wear basically uh, gives me like an extra 80 power. So basically, I'm just boosting my power to the maximum here, which is awesome. Uh, I'll use the Powerful Badge, I'll use the Excellent Badge to basically just, and I, I'm just going to go for like extremely max hits. Meanwhile, Luigi has the Master Wear, which is uh, going to increase his special attack potency as well, so it's not like he won't be doing um, that bad of damage as well, but Mario basically is just going to be tearing things to pieces. So we're going to go ahead, um, we're going to start with Class 1, go through Class 1 through 6 in this video, and then uh, we'll see what happens for the next extra video. But basically, the way the, way the gauntlet works, um, you have a certain number of turns where you need to beat the enemy in. Um, basically, one turn constitutes Mario making a turn, Luigi making a move, and uh, the enemy making an attack. So you, you know, it always goes Mario, Luigi, enemy, sort of that order. Or Mario, enemy, Luigi, depending on speeds. But uh, usually it's Mario, uh, Luigi, enemy. Once one of those cycles has gone through, that's one turn. So for example, this first one, we only have five turns to win. If you don't do it in the number of turns, you lose. Simple as that. As for items, when also your badges are reset when you start, so you can't go in there for full badge. But uh, also your items, they only give you a certain set amount of items. Uh, that'll be something we'll see later. But uh, you won't have your full item stash for this. You only have a set amount of items they give you, so you can't just like hack your way through of items either. And um, generally, these uh, these enemies, I mean, they're they're past bosses. This is obviously the first form of the uh, worm boss we fought long ago, the Dermite, um, who became Worm Dam later on, or whatever the heck the name was. But I'm just gonna use a falling star. Do mad! Look at how much damage! Look at all the damage! Three thousand four hundred and fifty-three damage, and it's dead in one hit. Because honestly. Um, I mean, yeah, they're harder versions of the bosses, but, like, this is a boss you take out level 20 or level 40, so by now we're just super far ahead. These first four are going to be really easy. Five and six, not so much, because then we're going to be getting the harder version of the harder bosses. But these first ones are going to be pretty simple, so we'll go ahead and just take them down, just, you know, really easy. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Alpha Cretin, I've already seen this guy before, he's a pretty cool guy, not afraid of anything. But that's okay, we're going to take him down pretty uh, easily. As you can see... Easy to take these things down in one hit because we're doing like he's doing 900 damage on a jump attack. That's just ridiculous how much power Mario has right now. That being said, you can't take hits for shit. So if he ever gets hit, he's gonna hurt badly. So we don't want that to happen. We need to be very careful about that. Uh, so let's see. Is there a way I can plan this so that I can, I can get? Um, this should work, I think. Right? Because then that's gonna be red. And that's gonna be, yeah, perfect, perfect. So I can actually uh get this next turn, that's good. Uh, the Alpha Crane can be a little tricky just because, you know, you're ob obviously, you know, you only have a certain number of turns to beat him, and it takes a lot of turns to get to him in the first place, but, um, since we're so powerful, that's not gonna make be a problem, because we're gonna be able to finish this thing off in, like, one attack anyway, so, let's just go ahead, finish it off with Magic Window? Yeah, let's go, no, no, let's just, we can just do Snack Baskets. Why not? Why not snack baskets? Because, you know, Fat Luigi is a Fat Luigi, and everyone loves Fat Luigi. He's fat, and he's also a Luigi, so, uh, that's a thing, I suppose. So we're gonna go ahead, just eat all the food. I love snack baskets. It's actually a really funny attack just do and watch, because it's... <laughs> Look at it! It's giant Fat Luigi! How can you hate... How, uh, I don't understand... How do you get that fat? Fatness does not increase your height, it increases your girth. And how does Mario lift up such a mammoth? Like, how strong is Mario? Like, what kind of steroids are you on, Mario? Wow, that thing actually lift the hit. I'm surprised. I highly doubt it's gonna survive a spin pipe, though, so... Spin pipe away! 262 damage. If Mario hits, it's gonna do a lot more. Oh, a lucky hit does less than a normal hit. That's actually kind of funny. Just goes to show how powerful Mario is now, obviously. And because we, I, we put all the power on Mario, because I believe, um... Like, the jump, uh, what, what's, it, what's it called? The jump helmets. I think that's based off Mario's power always, because Mario's the one doing the damage, but, or it might be based on both, I don't know. But, uh, it's dead. So, bye, Mr. Duder Dude. You were cool and all, but now you're dead, so, too bad. We did manage to fill up our meter there, but, uh, didn't get to show that off. We'll show that off at some other point. Anyways, uh, save complete. And next one on our list is 
level 26 and up. And as you can see, we're, we do actually get, um, you get money for these wins. You don't get items, which is why I never did during the main project, because there's not any reason to. Anyway, these guys, we've seen them before. Let's just go ahead and, you know, drop a magic window on him, or, eh, well, we don't want to, I don't want to give him this. Oh, let's go to jump helmet. We don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make him go into his wizard form. Because that's just a waste of time. They don't need to deal with all that shenanigans. Now, let's just try to finish him off while he's small. So we'll do the attacks that don't really raise his meter that much. Such as just ju yes, they did. Such as jump helmets. Which does a good 1500 damage to him immediately. Not enough to kill him, obviously, but uh... Does quite a bit of damage there. Can we just smack him away? That counterattack did 252 damage. Just, wow. All the damages. Well, let's just go for another jump helmet. Hopefully that won't fill the meter. And I could, that was a horrible jump. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is the worst jump ever, and it still did over a thousand damage, and it still killed him. K... No, well, KO, technically. That was, that, I, I, that was the shittiest jump helmet I have ever done, ever. But there we go. Another boss done. Lots of worm bosses. Anyways, if you guys remember the order, the next one is going to be... Is going to be... And this is where things start getting a little trickier. Uh, Bowser Mem Memory MLX. As you can see, all the enemies have an all the Gauntlet em enemies have an X next to their name. So uh, it was Worm. It was Worm. I can't even say Worm Adam because you know it's like it's uh, it, it's the whole uh, it's the Pokemon Worm Adam. I don't know why that Pokemon's stuck in my head right now, but whatever. Uh, Magic Window this time for sure because we want to be able to damage both of them heavily, and Magic Window does heavy damage to everything ever. So uh, always a good idea. As you can see. Um, it's, it's doing a pretty significant, I mean, it's not doing as much, like, per hit, but, uh, it's Magic Window, you know, you get multiple, multiple, multiple hits, it's like Copy Flowers, you just keep going, and going, and going, like the Energizer Bunny, until the things die, and then you're like, hey, everything's dead, and that eh, actually wasn't that much, it was only, it was less than a thousand to each one, but, uh, I'm not complaining, it's gonna go all star mode, it's gonna sort of go around, the attacks aren't different, they just do more damage, the enemies are just stronger, like, they did 48 damage, that's actually not that much to Luigi, all things considered. Um, like I said, we're still a bit overpowered. You have to be overpowered because the later enemies are just really strong. So I could have faced these guys when they were a challenge, but... I didn't want to interrupt the story just to have random gauntlet fights scattered throughout it. And I didn't want to, like, cause, like, these bo like, each of these bosses on hard mode, like, you know, when we're actually, like, an appropriate level to fight them, probably would have taken at least half a video each time. And that's just like, eh... For, for no benefit either, because you don't get anything for fighting them early, so there's really no reason to do the gauntlet early unless you just want the challenge. Which, I mean, if you want the challenge, good for you. I mean, that, that's that's certainly your right, so you can go ahead and do that if you need to. Um, only one enemy on the screen, so jump helmets. Um, you don't really have to worry about wasting SP here, because you usually have enough SP to really handle this. Later on, SP can be a problem, as we're going to see. Um, that actually was an, a, an excellent hit, so as you can see, I lost my meter there for Mario, which is kind of funny. Uh, but that's okay. He's down. And now, Falling Star hopefully can kill Luigi. Maybe not. I'm gonna hope it's gonna kill him though. Because Falling Star does do mass amounts of damage. Well, at least when I do it right, that one was actually kind of a poor Falling Star. Or at least a poor start to the Falling Star. There we go. We're, we're making up for lost ground here. If we get enough, another start, another start, another extra start. Okay, okay. Okay, that was a good one. That was definitely a good one. No defense down as well. And look at that. 2,648 damage. Tell me you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Of course you're dead. Falling Star on the Gauntlet just does massive amounts of damage. It's absolutely ridiculous. But you do have to be careful uh, later on, because I, I, I can't really tell you. I'm not going to spoil what happens when we beat all these. You do get something for beating all of these, though. So, uh... And the thing you get for beating all these, it, it's quite a doozy, as you're going to see. So, uh... We'll... That, that's going to be next episode, though. I'm going to get to just the uh, normal six classes today first, because the, 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 the reward you get takes a while. No, 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 no. No Dizzy. Do not want Dizzy. Dizzy is bad. Do not like Dizzy. I don't want to be Dizzy. Luigi, stop your dancing. And that is really going to take a lot... As you can see, that took... Like, even that, that, that thing right there took a lot of damage, though. That was like 80 damage for just one hit. Oh, well, at least you got to get rid of the Dizzy status by... Doing that, that actually helps me a lot, because now Luigi's not dizzy anymore, because he's in a trash can instead, so... Let's go ahead and free Luigi, he'll be, uh, free from his dizzy spells. And we'll be all good to go. Hammer this guy away. No, nope, do not want. Go away. Stop attacking Mario, he's the weak one! Well, that's, I guess, why they're attacking him, I mean, that would make perfectly good logical sense. Ooh, this move! So, basically, we didn't get to see this one in the main fight, um... You're supposed to jump over him there, but I failed, and that almost killed me. Holy shit. That did a lot of damage. So that, that, that's the bad thing with the D-Star Warrior. You're powerful as hell. 
but boy do you take a lot of damage for hit every hit. So, uh, especially later on, we're gonna be really careful with that. I'm not sure how well the whole ta um, like hyper offensive strategy is going here. I want to just sort of test it out for a later for the later one for uh, later on. I might need to switch back to a more tankier one just because Mario might need me to actually take hits. Then again. I mean, you're also on a time limit, which is why the, the offensive strategy is not a bad idea, and Mario actually fell. We're going to have to heal him then. Um, as you can see, limited items, we only have two 1-Up Mushrooms. They're only 1-Up Mushrooms, not 1-Up Supers either, so uh, you do have to be careful of that. And uh, a good strategy, though, is you can still get items like Star Candies and whatnot from the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, the Mighty Meteors. So you still can get items from that to add to your collections, so that's not a horrible idea. Especially for later on. Once again, I'm not really saying what's going on, but uh, let's just say later on we're going to be uh, very hard-pressed for HP and SP and items for the final sort of challenge in this area. Uh, th that can maybe hint at what it's going to be about, but uh, you you'll see. Uh, I'll reveal it at the end of this video, but for now we have to take on Joker X, who's actually kind of kicking our ass a bit. Like, he's already made us waste some one of Mushroom. He's just sort of tossing thwomps all sorts of everywhere, which is just so very rude. Really, dude? Really? Thwomps? Come on, we're just gonna kick your ass now. Falling star, right on your face. Now you do have to be careful because those trash cans, they do a lot of damage to you. Honestly, I almost would think that just doing single attack, uh, target attacks like, uh, falling star, and, uh, I'm doing a shitty job at this falling star, speaking of which, um, but doing attacks like falling star or jump helmets on this guy might not be, might be a better idea, actually, just because, like, when you, obviously when you destroy the trash cans, you, uh, you know, they, they attack you, and they can be tough to attack, so... It is always a bit risky, I suppose, to do that. We'll just go for another Falling Star, I mean, why not? I just want to get this guy out of the way now before he kills me. We're just gonna go all out offensive here. Just take him down, I mean, Falling Star is essentially your best weapon against bosses, because it just does... A ridiculous amounts of damage, just absolutely ridiculous amounts of damage. Oh, like, Magic Window and Falling Star, probably the two best in the game, honestly. And anyway, we did get a third star chunk there. I mean, as you guys can see, the star chunks obviously do a lot more. We actually have our full meter, but that's okay. He's already dead. So, we win. Junker X is gone. We did get to show off his other attack, at least, finally, which is good. Because I never got to show that attack off in the main project. And that made me really sad. So, uh, yeah, just jump on the little one. Then jump on the bigger thing of trash. Then jump over him. That's how you dodge that one. Which I failed to do. But, that's okay. And now... For Dark Star X, and Dark Star X is actually a bit of a challenge because he's actually—I mean, he, he obviously, you know—he's for level 40 and up. We're level 40, so we're actually the proper level to fight Dark Star X at the moment. So he's actually going to be a bit trickier. As you can see, he's going to be—he he always goes to his uh, stronger forms of these attacks because uh, he always, like, when he got to about half health, he um, did stronger versions of attacks in the normal fights. This one, he's actually doing uh, the stronger attacks right away, which is cool. So. uh... Already he's a potent threat. Already I suck at dodging these stupid freaking lasers. But that's okay. Um, I recommend just using special attacks on these things just to get them out of the way, obviously, because, you know, you want to get these things out of the way fast because you have a time limit. So um, don't hold back on your special attacks in the gauntlet. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to hold back on them. Jump helmets or green shells. Green shells are also a decent option. You have to be careful of green shells, though, because... Basically, uh, if it tries to target the Dark Star, it'll miss and the attack will end. So I would save the Green Shell for uh, the second one, not the first one. Then again, it doesn't really matter because you're, I mean, as long as you finish off, I mean, honestly, green, the Green Shell might be the best option anyway because you're kind of, you know, not wasting any, uh, you're not wasting, you're, you're minimizing the waste of your SP if you do that. You're uh, using as, le as least SP as possible, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because Green Shells are very, very cheap. I mean, in terms of cost, not in terms of, uh, they're, they're, like, unfair, they're just cheap, you know what I mean? Anyways, taking the Dark Star X out, that was the stupidest freaking conversation ever, and like I said, Falling Star is always OP. You do want to try to get that defense drop if you can as well, because the defense drop does help you guys a lot, so, uh, definitely recommend that. But the Gauntlet, it is actually a lot of fun, uh, fighting these hard versions of the bosses, and just, you know, being able to refight bosses in general in an RPG is always a cool thing, so, uh, definitely like the, I, the fact that Nintendo included this in here. As you can see, we're not really doing as much damage anymore, despite our massive power. It was, it was still less than a, <laughs> we're not doing massive damage, it was less than a thousand. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the day, right? When less than a thousand damage is actually a little bit. Boy, oh boy. Still trying to get the, the defense drop if I can, though, so, uh, gonna keep using Falling Star until then. 
Honestly, it does as much damage as Magic Window anyway, and it only has a little bit of an extra cost, so... Um... Actually, it might even arguably do more damage than Magic Window. It depends on how good you do with Magic Window, I suppose. I mean, this generally does on this boss, you know, around a thousand damage. This is actually probably gonna do a bit more. So that you do... Four, wow, it almost did 1500 damage that time, so uh... Did a lot better that time, I guess. Anyway, he's gonna flare his laser, and he's gonna go back to his normal form, which means we're going to just sort of not be able to do anything this turn. Um, normally, I mean, if, if you need to heal, by the way, this is the turn to do it, because obviously this is a wasted turn. You can't do anything against the Dark Star in this turn, because, you know, he's invincible right now, so... Or you can also, you know, do what I did, charge up your meter. That's also a beneficial thing. Oh, you're gonna do your, your little laser thing. I, I don't approve of this, dude. And he's obviously a lot faster as well. His attacks are a little bit harder to dodge, cause, just because they're a lot a bit faster as well. But, uh, nothing too difficult. The attacks, for the most part, remain the same for these bosses. They don't really remain, change that much. They just do a lot more damage. That's really the big thing. Which is why the Giant Shell isn't as useful anymore, because generally you're going to be taking more than 25% of your health anyway. So, the Giant Shell wouldn't really do that much, I think. So, ooh, I just sort of, like burped there for a moment, oops. Um, this is why you shouldn't record it for eating. But there we go, jump helmets, gonna go ahead. Well, actually, uh, taking that one really slow. Giddy a lot of jump and boo! That's one dead dark star, star, stalag, star lag mites. I don't remember what these things are even called. And I don't particularly care, because they're little spider things. They remind me of those enemies from Zelda. And then I kick shells at them, because then they die. And that makes me happy. I love how the thing just like, nope, you're not gonna hit me. Darkstar just dodging those ground attacks like it's nothing. Anyway, once again, we're gonna weaken him using his little buddies. You'd think you would think to not launch them at us. Uh, you'd think they'd realize, oh, the only thing in the world that can take down my, my you know, invincibility probably shouldn't launch them at the enemy. Nope, nope, that, that's always a good plan, obviously, to, you know, expose our weaknesses. Then again, if we ever lost, it would, you know, be unfortunate. Anyways, gonna go ahead and use the Super Strike. Um, actually, I think I made a mistake here, because if I remember correctly, the Super Strike only does the first hit of the combo, not all of them, right? So that does 204, that only did 51, yeah. So it does four times damage, as you can see. Uh, but it only does it to the first hit of a combo, so Magic Window, probably the worst item to actually use the Super Strike on, because you just negated, like, most of your damage. However, if you did it on something that's, like, all in one damage, like Jump Helmet, or even a uh, Falling Star wouldn't be bad, because that first hit does a lot of damage anyway. But, like, a Jump Helmet with four times the damage, that would easily do, like, 3,000 damage to him instead of, like, 1,000. So, uh, oh, it killed him anyway, so it's not that big a deal. But combining a Super Strike with an attack like Jump Helmet, honestly, Jump Helmet's probably the best one to actually combine a Super Strike with. Uh, it'll do massive amounts of damage, and that's always pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's classes 1 through 6. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we face the almighty, super intense, class 7. This one is going to be crazy, guys. We're going to fight all the bosses all at once, and something special afterwards. See you soon for that!